quite at the level of ball handling that I am. No. Uh, <laughs> not, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. But some of you may be seeing this presentation, right, and saying, "Well, Oach, you don't understand. Like, I, I can't dribble like you, or I can't speak like you do, or I don't have those talents or abilities like you do." First of all, does he have to be good at basketball, or are there a lot of other things that he could be good at? A lot of other things. Okay, but guys, there are people that I know personally, and plenty of videos that I've seen on YouTube, of people who dribble three basketballs faster than I dribble two. There are people who could do to me what I did to Francesco way more. I am by far not the best ball handler in the world. But who am I doing it for? Yeah. And guys, it doesn't matter where you are in your life. I was just talking with a student today in a public school. If a student brings up a conversation, I, I can talk to them. You're going to see my husband. Thank you very much. And, and she basically, we got to a conversation. She basically said to me, like, I really turned my back on God. Like, I, I don't feel like I can talk to him. Like, I don't feel like I can come to him. That's, he, he's not going to listen to me because I, I turned my back on him. Well, guess what? Who else turned their back on him? All of us. <laughs> and, as, and as I explained to her what Jesus did for her, and how Jesus did, it doesn't matter where you are in your life, or where you are as a Christian, or where you are as not a Christian. God wants to take you in, and he wants to start doing great things with your life. And so, if I could take the next part of this to kind of share with you what he did in my life. I got to play college basketball. I didn't play much. I played a small Division three college called Baptist Bible College. Got to study Bible and English together. I became an English teacher, right? And I graduated, broke my ankle my senior year of college, didn't even play my senior year, um. right? And I thought basketball was done. So two years later, right, I'm, uh, let's see, where should we go from here? I am sitting on a computer thinking, God, how can I use basketball for something bigger? Like, who cares if college is done? Who cares if high school is done? Like, okay, I didn't make the NBA, but, like, what, what can I do with basketball that would be bigger, right? And all of a sudden, my dad came to mind, okay? My father is my height, about 5'9", five, 5'10", five, okay? And my father is 240 pounds, okay? I'm 160, okay? So my father's got, like, 80 pounds on me, okay? And my father's not 240. He's 240, okay? But before you think I'm making fun of him, my father has completed 26 marathons in his life. Wow. Okay? 26 marathons. How long is a marathon? 26.2 miles. How many of you, the gym teacher makes you run four laps around the uh, track for a mile? And we don't like that, right? A marathon would be 105 times around the track, right? And so as I'm sitting on my computer, I'm thinking, well, if my dad could do it, I bet you I could do it. It would take a lot of hard work and have to train. And so I said, okay, wait a minute. I want to do something big with basketball. Basketball, marathon, basketball, marathon. How could these two things go together? Instead of just running 26 miles, I could. You could, you could hear the line run. For me, it's the same thing. Remember, anywhere I went, I took my ball anyway. So I was like, huh, why not dribble a marathon? But then I had to think, well, what is this going to be for? Is this just going to be so people could say, hey, great 